Hi everyone! Are you in love with ledger paper? But maybe you don't have any. Maybe you don't have any antique ledger paper hanging around. No, this is not a commercial. Um, I was inspired by a lady's video and her name is Chronicles of a Crafter. Her name is Nicole and um, she showed a way where you can take, where you can basically make your own vintage leather looking style papers. And I loved her ideas and I'm going to put a link to her video, um, but I'm going to show you a different way. I'm hoping. I've never done this before. We're going in blind. Anything could happen. I have a few supplies gathered at the ready, but we're going to start with no ledger paper. And I thought, what is something that everybody has? Okay, so ledger paper um, or antique ledger or vintage ledger can either be written script. Or, I don't know why I'm, I'm telling you the rules of, there's no rules. Um, they wrote whatever they want to, wanted on it. Some are old lodges, some are documentations of other things. And, you know, here's the register of water services. So there's, there's all different types. There's store ledgers, old, like general merchandise store ledgers. There's accounting ledgers. There's work ledgers. There's all sorts of fun ledgers out there. All different styles but I just grabbed these three pages for inspiration and um, I thought why don't we try and make a faux one yeah a faux one let's see if we can do that so here is what a blank ledger page looks like let's just take a closer look at it sometimes it has a number up in a corner um, you know depending on the side of the page it could be the upper right or upper left probably the bottom at some point too it often has a red line yeah I don't know why um, and blue lines. Okay, th that's a very common thing. See, here's some other, whoop, maybe back it up a little. Red lines, any blue lines? Uh, I don't know what those cross lines are. They could be blue, um, but they're there. There's some type of line and there's some kind of like categorizing at the top. That's kind of cool. That's pretty. And uh, here is another one. You have, red, did I just show this one? Probably. Red line, blue lines, yeah. So, oh yeah, that guy, apparently a garbage guy is coming right now and Sunshine is in full scale alert. Um, so we will just work on that. Oh, he's only he's like four houses away. <laughs> okay, Sunny Bear. Here's another thing to look at. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Um, oh, that's a better view. Okay. Um, I've also noticed sometimes that things are written down the, the side like that. That's not an uncommon finding. Maybe there was an afterthought and we ran out of paper and these books were, these pages were in a bound book. So it wasn't like they could, well, they didn't know how to do an extend a page. Okay, we can forgive them, right? Yeah, that's all right. Um, but very full. I mean, they used every little section because I think paper was scarce or expensive. So you didn't waste paper. Um, but I thought, what if we just took a regular there, one of these. This is, you know, something I got somewhere along. Oh yeah, that would be something I would buy, right? No, not really. It probably came in a grab bag and there it was. But it has basically college rule paper in it. This I guess is wide college rule. I'm just gonna try and get the, the actual page off. <clears throat> and this is such high quality that it, it's already torn where the hole is. But notice these don't have holes. So we're gonna get rid of that whole thing First, first and foremost. Okay, here we go. Oh, the second hole ripped. Okay, well, we've got our page, and that's really all we wanted. So I think the first thing we do is just... Oh, what's going on? I, my rulers are fighting with each other. Okay, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Okay, I'm just going to remove the circles. Yeah, we just away with you. Away with you. We have no need for you right now. Okay, you can... You're even too small for the scrap bucket. Well, you know, I know there's possibilities, but not today. Okay, just not today. All right, okay. So now we have this. Okay, and let, I'm just double checking. We have a rounded corner. We have, what is that? Is that a rounded corner? Oh, you can't see it's too far. Let me make it better. Is that, or is it just a worn corner? Can you see, you can probably see better on the video. Um, but it's round-ish, okay? And if we wanted to straighten it, we could just straighten it. Maybe we'll straighten it. I don't think it's rounded. I think it's just worn off a little bit. Let me look at the others, well, just to be sure. Oh, yeah, well, that one I cut, so can't tell on that one. This one, definitely a square right angle there. Okay, so we're cutting this. 
to give ourselves that ledger feel. So we're just kind of wherever it starts to round. Are you rounding there? Are you rounding there? Where are you rounding? There? Okay. Oh, yeah, you can't see anything. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hope you're all having a fun day today and you're making your way to your crafty paper universe or whatever fun you're having. We're hanging out together. All right, so this is a, a nice workable size page, right? That's not intimidating. Now, one thing I'm not going to do is crumple it because, well, these aren't crumpled. And if you crumpled old antique ledger, it would fall apart. So we're not going to do that to age it. But what these do have is that beautiful vanilla caramel sort of color, yeah, that aged paper look. So what is our old way of doing that? <clears throat> Coffee dye, right? Now I could go and... and <laughs> get the pan and do it all up but I'm lazy today so I just have this bottle spritzer of uh, I better get some wipe ups this is going to be a disaster I can see it coming can you see it coming yeah I can see it coming too okay I have this this is my flower sack tea towel I think I got this from Walmart um so to, but I'm going to wipe up any overspray so I, I'm just getting everything out of the way here because I think it's going to be a mess okay you could do this in a pan, like a, a lasagna pan or something like that. That would work. Okay. I'm just going to age it with the coffee dye. It doesn't take much. And if you don't want splatter, look, you got to wet it enough so it's it's wet. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's got to be wet. And I think you got to do the back too. All right. There's no gotta, but I mean, if you want it, caramel. Okay. Now we have that done, right? Okay. Just absorb some of the excess. We'll be here for a hundred years waiting for this to dry. Okay. I think we're still going to be here waiting for this to dry a hundred years. Um, I may... Oh, let me grab my heat gun. No, that thing with the sl... Can I lift this up? Maybe I can lift this up. Hang on. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I should take this and blow dry it. I already have a wrinkle in it. I don't know if you can... Can you see that? I have a wrinkle right there. All right, I don't even know if I can pick this up without tearing it. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, just one end. One end. That's all I need is one end. Oh, good. Dab. Dab more. Dab more. Dab more. Oh, boy, what we do to age paper, you know? Here, let me just see if I can pick up an end. I can get one end. Why can't I even get one end? That, come on. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. We're golden. I can get the whole thing. All right, running off to the blow dryer. Okay, we've got some interesting things going on here. I'll be right back. Okay, don't kid yourself. Baby wipes will be, or some kind of wet paper towel or napkin or something. You know what I mean? Something to get that. Okay, so just removing that. Just pretty dry, not too bad. Okay, yeah, that needed to be cleaned. All right, so I'm going to explain myself, I hope. Okay, so we have this and we have this. Now, I have a few other little marks and colors on here, probably because my craft mat wasn't clean. So I have a little pink and I have a little brown streaks, probably where I was, you know, inking and on the edge. So you may want to wipe your craft mat down first, but I kind of think it's cool, you know? I mean, that's aged and, and I'm rolling with it. I, I have no choice. Okay, so now what do, we, what do we have already? We have our red line and we have our blue lines, but Maybe we want to go all fancy town and look at that. That is the red, blue, red, I think. Is it? Okay, it's red, blue, 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 red, and then double red. Okay, so let's up. Don't start curling on me. Don't you do it. You stay flat -a -roonies. You know what it is? It's damp underneath because I just wiped it. And it's trying to curl. So I'll put it the other way and trick it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, flat, flat again. See, it, that's what it was. When paper dries, it does that. Okay, this bitch there. Okay, I want to use this side. Okay, so let's let's just amp up the, uh, let's go with, I'm going to follow this comp, comp. Red, blue, 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 red, and then double red. Let's try that. Okay, now I have a, I don't know if this is the right one or anything, but this is a red Faber-Castell small artist pen. I will now attempt to draw red lines. Come in closer. Oh, that's a little close. I See, I would do it like that, but I, I can't draw my lines like that, so I have to do it like this and shrink it up a bit. Just a bit. 
It's okay. It'll be all right. I'll, I'll take you back full size. Anyway. You're not stuck there forever. It's okay. <laughs> all right, so I've got a blue in the middle. So let me put the blue in the middle and draw a red line. Here we go. One red line. Did it come out okay? Not bad. Not bad. I'm okay with that. It actually looks pretty good. Um, a little north, so you can't really see if I'm straight. I really should turn this around and then come at it from this way. That way I know if I'm straight because I can see what's on this side. So there's little tip number one. Oh, this is fun, Nicole. Thank you for this awesome idea that you shared with the universe. I think she actually said it was one of her favorite videos that she did. So I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, put these ideas out there, people. What are you holding on to them for? You know, put them out there. They're great. All right, we need some kind of blue line. What, do I have any blue pens? Are you blue? You're, so, you're kind of dark blue. Mm, I don't like you. Hang on, let me find a blue pen. Here's an old classic from the day. Anybody remember these? This baby still works. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so let's I have to draw a little blue line closer, like inside the red line. And this is where it's like surgical. We're surgical at this point because it's like there's not a lot of room in there. But we're just going for the, the essence. And, and you could, you, could um, you know, copy any particular uh, style of a journal, whatever it is, you know, ledger page. Um, this is just happens to be one. Okay. Okay. Was that too much? Did I do too much? <gasps> I really like that. Okay. I'm bringing it in. That's cool, isn't it? I don't know, that looks really cool. Okay, it doesn't look exactly like that, but not bad, not bad for some woman in her craft room. You know what I mean? Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna do double red. I have one red, let me go for two, because we're just, we're going all fancy town. This, this is now is getting really exciting. I'm sweating, why am I sweating? It's, I've got the, the AC down. Is it a hot flash again? I thought I was over that. I'm old. Stop that already. <laughs> you know, give me a break. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I just, I get all you know, oh, excited talking to you. Okay, don't go over and over, Pam. Just draw one line, smooth, straight, and be off with you. Okay. Okay, I like that. Okay, let me go closer. All right, I know. I mean, this is just lines, but already we're talking funky town. Cool, right? I mean, the page looks cooler. I mean, this page looks so much cooler to me than this page. You know what I mean? This is like, oh yeah, yeah, I know. Now, nothing wrong with this page. This is a very respectable page, sort of. Um, but this, this is old worldly. And if you didn't do anything else other than this, you could go home. Well, you're probably already home, but you could, you, you'd have like grand success. Okay, now I'm gonna take this, and probably completely ruin it. Let's look at the, um, the titles and the text. So, Hall of the Iroquois, Iroquois Lodge, number 143 IOOF. All right. Okay, so it is written in, is that pencil? Or is that black pen? I think it's black pen. I think it's probably a black fountain pen. That's what I think. I don't have a black fountain pen, but I do have black pens. All right, let me find a black pen. Hold on. Oh, this is funny. This is a, this is a paper outpost pen. I, I don't sell these. This was somebody sent me a promotional pen with um, uh, my name on it to see if I would buy a thousand pens, but I haven't, I haven't done that. Um, it's a nice pen though. <laughs> I don't know what the company was. It's not on here. Uh, okay, so we're going to do just looking at this as so, like something to follow. So there's, there's, oh, there's a light blue line. Okay, because they, they wanted something to write their title on. Do you see that? That blue line there? I got, I need one of those. I don't have that. Okay, come back in here. All right, I'm gonna draw another blue line. It doesn't have to be super dark or anything. Okay, square up, Pam. Square up on this. This is entirely so much fun. I. This is, I don't, I'm really enjoying this. I, I've never done this before. This is so cool to me. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for coming up with this idea. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh that was a little higher than the other one. Not, not much, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay, quick reference. Okay. All right, that one's a little lighter, but hey, you, you got to work with what you have. Okay, so now we're done. Okay, closing the lid. Now I'm going to write, this is, I'm, I'm like, oh no, no, no. 
we have to put a number in the corner. See, this one has a number. 127. Okay, let me fuddle for my numbers. Hold on. Okay, here's my little bucket of numbers. And I managed to, I managed to find 127. Now, this one looks a little bigger, but maybe I can put them closer together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Remember, it's faux, okay? It's not exact. Okay, Holly. <laughs> it's, he's like, yeah, I know it's faux. Okay, one. Okay, we have a one. And, oh, this is black soot. If anybody was wondering. Black soot, distress ink. Okay, trying to put it closer here. Okay, now these won't be exact because I can't line them up. Oh, I'm, I'm really close to the edge. Can I get my seven in there? Let me try. Seven. Okay, probably could have used a smaller number set, but it's faux. Let's just remember that. Oh, I hope that's not too close. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, hey, I'm happy with that. All right, let's go on to the next step. The scary part that I've been avoiding. Now we're going to calligraphy write. Oh my God. No, we're going to chicken scratch. Okay, my, my garbage man is right outside my house. He's taking my garbage. Thank you, garbage man. Thank you. I hope I put everything in the right bucket. Probably not. Okay. I wonder if he's noticed that my scraps have gone down since I'm having the scrappy contest. Oh, if you remember, it is free gift with purchase of a fundle month for September 2022. If you purchase a fundle, you will automate, which is a collection of old and interesting papers like old ledger paper, that's right, um, and other things. Uh, you will automatically receive, without co code or coupon, a free digi kit, five pages printed out of my, where's my example one? I know you've all seen it. <laughs> or maybe you haven't. Okay, um, so you get five pages of Victorian images. I call this um, Fantastical Victorian Times, and that will automatically come in your package. And it's on lightweight cardstock. Okay, that was a commercial. That was a commercial. Okay, we're, we're out of the commercial now, and we're back into... Okay, I'm trying to write. Now, okay, so we got Hall of the Iroquois, 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 the Iroquois, Iroquois Indians, that sounds right. Okay, um, Hall of, okay, here we go, okay, right, close enough? No, closer, closer. Okay, now this is scary, the pressure's on. Okay, I'm going to do my best. Okay, it would be better if I wore glasses. Okay. Can I see with these? Let me see. Oh yeah, I can see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna write. Okay, so she's got Hall of the Iroquois Lodge, number 143 IOOF. I'm gonna be. Hall of the Fold. Ah, oh, I goofed it up. Hall of the Fold. I just, I like that way. Welcome to the Fold. <laughs> um, Hall of the Fold. Her, her paper seems, her pet, you know, maybe I'm going to switch to a marker. Let me switch to a marker. Let me get, I, I need more impact. More impact, please. I need a small, that's extra small. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm going to test my marker. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, I think this is going to show up much better. Now I'm going to take the scary move of going over this. Okay, everybody hold your breath. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I think the thing is just to do it, not to be afraid. Just do it. Just go for it. It's only paper. It's only paper. It's only paper. It's coffee dyed college roll paper. That's all it is. So it's okay. Okay, that's better. Stands up more, like, like theirs does. Stands out more, right? Yeah, okay. Hall of the Fold Lodge. Okay. Oh, such a cool way they did their N. If I can copy it. Something like that. Number. My, mine looks like ho. Why does that look like ho? Does it look like number? 
See, I tried to do it just like they did. There's theirs. Yeah. Mine looks goofy. That's okay. Number, okay, let's do number, um, uh, okay, we'll just copy theirs. 143. Now I'm crowding into this. I see that. So I'm going to leave it there. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to have as my title. Okay, so now what do they have after that? They have Russellar in Jari, probably January 5th, 1893. So it must be some location and um, date. So let's do, um, okay. Oh, now it's not writing because it dried up. So you have to keep moving. Okay. Paper Town, USA. Um, what's today? September. They probably like to write. I like. I'm gonna write it out in full. September. Um, let's just do. So it's it's not September first, but I'm gonna do September first because it's short. Because I need the room, and we'll do. We'll make ours even old. Well, you can't see. Sorry, sorry. I'm back. Um, Theirs was 1893. Why don't we do 1870? Yeah, we're even older. <laughs> okay. Papertown, USA, September 1st, 1870. And then there's a lot of text. Now, it's going to take me an hour to write all that, so we'll just come back with that for a second. Now, but there's also, you don't just have to do text. You can do, like, logging. So maybe I'll do a little bit of text. A little bit of like calculating logging. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's something. Okay, some kind of something. And then, uh, okay, look, this is like the fancy swirlaroos. And what's your, what year is this? Seven. Oh, there's a plop on it. Uh, can't read it. Gone. <laughs> okay. Is there anywhere else? Nope. Okay, don't know. Don't know on this one. 18 something. Okay, don't know. Um, okay, so I'm just going ahead and write a little paragraph, then I'll do a little logging, and then write a little paragraph. So I'm, I'm just going to like tune out for a second because it could take me an hour. Hold on. Okay, I have written my first paragraph. I felt like I was writing an essay back in school. <clears throat> Paper Town, USA, September 1st, 1870. Lodge was called to order at 720. I kind of stole that from that. Uh, PM and regular session pursued. Sally Pants brought forth a motion to save more scraps. There was scuttlebutt in the audience and many groans and low murmurs. A vote was taken and saving more scraps passed by a two to one vote in the house. There we go, very official. Okay, so next I'm going to try and construct something that looks like this. Now this has some more red lines, so I'm gonna put those in. I don't know how I'm gonna put them. I'm just gonna put some in, just do it. Okay, uh, so we've got like Three sections here, the double red line. Well, I don't have room for three here. Maybe I can put some sections on this side. See, you have, you have freedom because it's just paper and it's your stuff. And be, that's how it goes. Okay, so let me actually, I'm going to do another double red line here to separate the upper from the lower. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, can you see me? Okay, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay. I don't... Okay, here we go. One more red line. Okay, and then maybe, whoop, that was a barely see that one I went on. See, no, it's on an angle. Okay, that wasn't a very good red line. All right, we'll just do another one right here and just hope for the best. They're hoping for the best here. Hoping for the best. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to do this one again because it just, you know, it, le it leaves me wanting, you know. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's that's definitely a red line, right? Yeah, that's almost overpowering the other one. Okay, it's okay though. We can move forward. But now I can drop down some columns. Maybe I'll only come down partway and then I'll finish it off with a nice big finale. So let me uh, let me just do some columns. Yeah, maybe a column. Column or two. All right, here's one. Sunny snoring. Oh gosh. Oh, poor little Sunny had an upset stomach last. Woke up this morning with my little blessed boy vomiting on my head. Yeah, that was really, that was lovely. And I'm trying to think, what was it? There was a small piece of chicken, and it was like no skin. It was, but I, I had some 
not spice spice, but it was like a honey rub or something. I don't know. If maybe that bothered his tummy. I should know better. Oop, didn't go down far enough. Um, so we're not doing that anymore. I changed his water bowls in case, you know, something in the water. And we're going to not do any treats for a day at all. We're just going clean. We're going clean. Yeah, because Mama doesn't want to be puked on in the middle of the night. Okay. Um, yeah, we just leave it with that. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll close it at the bottom. Just give it a nice little closure as if it was a little accounting box. Hey, yeah. That could, that could happen, right? All right, I kind of went too short there. Okay, there, not bad. Hey, oh, look at it. I nailed a blue line right in the middle. That wasn't even on purpose. That just, well, I guess it was sort of was, but not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to put some, uh, I made stuff in here. So let me go put some stuff in here so you can kind of see what it looks like. And then we'll finish it up. Okay, I've completed the ledger portion. Let me come on down. Oops, sorry. Come on down. There. Okay, that's my ledger portion. All right, they have some. Let me show you what it looks like here. R random dates. Now, they're not in order. Notice this. I think that's 1916. 1914, 1916, 1906, 1905. Okay, I don't know why it is that way, so I just kind of followed suit. Yeah, okay. Then here, I put some random numbers. have no idea what these mean. And then here, these are feet, apparently. Let me show you. Like, see the little, little, the little hash? And then there's the foot and inches. I think that's feet or front. Not sure feet or front, not sure. It's okay. All of these say east of Burnett, east of Burnett. Now, is Burnett a town or oh, Burnett? What? Avenue. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I didn't get Avenue. So it's, a, it's, I guess they're, it's water, water services bill. Okay. Have no idea, but that is my take on it. Okay. I think that's kind of cool. Um, so we have the log registry and then I'm just going to fill it, fill it, finish it with a really flashy, you know, blow your socks off finale. Here's one finale. That's not bad. I could, I can do better than that. Um, you leave, yeah, no, oh no, I'm, I'm looking for better. Okay, and I didn't do the Red Seas. I should do the Red Seas. Give me the Red Seas. Where's the red? Now that was obviously done in some red pencil. Oh, I guess I do have a red pencil. Hold on. Okay. I hope it's not pink. Are you pink? No, it's red. It's okay. It's okay. Come close. We'll do the Red Seas. It must be like checked or corrected or canceled or something. You know what I mean? It must mean something. Anybody know? Anybody work in the water department? What, what does this mean? Okay, my C's look a little different, but you know, that's, that's the way it goes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got my C's. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Now we're going down. Okay, I thought this was a nice finale. It just has a little sign up at the end. Nothing further. Lodge closed in. And then a signature. Okay, so let me let me just do some more writing down here. Okay, um, we'll just put. Uh, well, how did they finish it up? Okay, minutes of the previous meeting. Okay, we could do that. Okay. Okay, minutes, and I'm just gonna wing it from here. Of the, go slow, Pam, because you're sloppy when you go fast previous meeting have been reviewed. There was no new business. Everyone <laughs> ate like pigs <laughs> and fell asleep. Have you ever been to any committee or board meetings? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was good. All right. Okay. Here I'm, I'm on the, I'm on my big final finale. Nothing further. I'm going to put to report. Okay. Um, I'm going to just, they did some kind of, I'm going to show you some type of letters. I'm, it might be for the lodge. 
Iroquois Lodge. Lodge? I don't know. I'm just going to do... We have Hall of the Fold Lodge, so I'm going to do an H. Hall of the Fold Lodge. And then I'm going to do my big sign-off at the end. Looking very cool. How do I do that? Okay, just uh, in my own signature? I can't do it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. So we are done. We are done. Our faux ledger from a piece of college rule paper. Could still do more on the back, but I think you get the idea. So I hope you had fun. I know this was so much fun. Thank you, Nicole, for that great idea. Um, loving that we inspire each other. And um, oh, there was a couple things I wanted to show you. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to show you. Maybe, oh, you know what? I'm going to ask for your help. I'm going to show you this. I did have some, I had a book that contained these. I thought it was really cool. I think somebody reprinted the book from a very old book because the dates are old dates, but the paper ain't old. You know what I mean? So it was a reprint, but the information in it was so cool. I thought it was cool to put in some fundals. So some of you will find some of this. I'm already out of it, whatever it's come through the fundal world and out there. But uh, these are really cool. I always try and find unique things for you guys when I can find them. Okay, so this is how they reported. Um, this is a, like causes of death, all right? Now, just some of these are interesting. Kidney trouble, okay. You know what I mean? I mean, just they knew something, something went down with the kidneys. It wasn't good. They carried on. Typhoid fever, typhoid fever. Must, now they were young. I mean, if you can see the, the, the ages are um, like 45, 20, 18, 14, 80. Okay, somebody made it. Two weeks, oh. 74, 35, 21, 49, 35, 12, 30. I mean, relatively young comparatively to our day. Uh, so some other causes, typhoid fever. Consumption. I'm pretty sure that's TB, but I'll look it up. That's what I wanted to do was look all these up. So if you could like look these up and post them down below just so we can all know what this is. Um, oh, look at this. Killed by a horse. You know, that's a bad day when you're, it's, and I'm sure that was quite common, right? Because let's face it, it would have been in today terms, a car accident, but here it was killed by a horse because, hey, that's how you got around. Oh, congestion. And that's, that's a bad cold. That's like a really bad lung cold flu thing. Yeah. Um, dropsy. And I always forget what that is. There's dropsy. Got a bad case of dropsy. Yeah, I guess kind of dropped. Dropped and that was it. Droppity doo da. Yeah. Okay. Somebody please help there. Old age. I like that one. Yeah, I can't quite put a finger on this one. Let's just call it old age. Yeah, pretty old. Yeah, you, you know, just stuff goes, you know, springs and coils popping out everywhere. I know that feeling. <laughs> Another case of congestion. Oh, September 11th. Congestion. That was going around then, the congestion. Okay. Oh, childbirth. Yeah, 21 years. Oh my gosh, so young. Of of Mayflower. No, that can't be. She didn't come over on Mayflower. Let's do, no. Um, swamp fever. Yeah. Don't be hanging around in those swamps. It's not good for you. Okay. Not, not good. Indigestion. Oh man. Yeah. That would have been sad, right? Like I, I had a little upset tummy. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's just plain sad. Scrofula. Another word for something else. Could somebody look that up, please? Scrofula. See what that is. That's a, interesting things. They called things. They all mean something. Another case of consumption. Slow fever. That's right. This was not a quick and merciful death. This was slow fever. That was awful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, d dropsy again. So there you go. I just thought it was interesting to show you. Um, I, I apologize. I meant to do my homework on that, but I did want to share that. There are a couple other things floating around here. I got to put my finger on them again, but when I find them, I will show them to you. I just come across some interesting things every once in a while. Okay. So sunshine, do you have something to say? I do, mom. I have something to say. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm feeling better. Because I'm on my back showing you my belly. Come here. Come here. Come here, my little puke face. I know. It was a rough night. Oh, are you going you gonna to tell them about your rough night? I don't think they want to hear about, you know, the details. Okay, I'll just tell them a little. Can I tell you a little? Hi, everybody. Sunshine here. It was a little bit of a rough night last night. I'm feeling better now. The worst of it, I think, is over. I think I was just going to take it easy the rest of the day. I think I'm just going to sign out now. I love you all. Take care, everyone. Going back to bed. Bye. <laughs> okay, so that was very quick. 
We'll put you back down. He does open his eyes immediately after I get him out from there, so I think that is the light bothering him. Um, I just don't want to overtax him today. He's had a rough... We both had, had a rough night. Okay, so... Um, don't for, I know, ad nauseum. Don't forget about the free gift with purchase with a fundal, a collection of old papers. You will get the free five-page printed out for you digi kit. <clears throat> also, if you haven't signed up for my free monthly newsletter, what are you waiting for? The link is down below in the description box. If you're on your phone, click on the title that should drop the description box open, or sometimes there's a little arrow or something over there to click. Just click on everything and eventually it'll open. And um, <clears throat> um, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month without even thinking. It just appears in your email box and I print it out. I, I don't print it out. I, I make it it's one image, but I give you multiple sizes on the one page because I figure, hey, you're printing anyway. So you might want to use it in different ways. Um, and I give it to you in PDF and Word doc, no, and JPEG format so that you can, you know, whatever you do out there in magic technology land, you can play with it. Um, high res pics. And what else have I got? I've got videos. Yes, I do. They come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Podcasts come out Tuesday and Thursday. Audio, new material. Um, on the other days of the week, I do put up video podcasts. If you actually want to watch the video and hear the audio, watch it on Spotify. If you just want to listen to the audio, let's say you're just kind of cruising around up and down the grocery store aisle, something like that, or in, you're in Hobby Lobby or Michael's uh, walking the dog, you can just listen to the audio on any um, podcast platform or just go to anchor.com or anchor.fm.com. The link is down below. And you don't have to have any special podcast um, platform to listen to. You can just click on the link and it'll be there. Um, I have an Etsy shop. Hey, um, I, when I have journals and bundles and things like that done, I do put them in there for sale. So come on over and check it out. I sell my digi kits in there, which are computer files, which you purchase. And then you can print these out at home as many times as you like to use in your artwork and have fun with. Um, if you don't have a printer, I can print them out for you. I do them in batches of 10. Uh, all I need for you to do is only purchase the print and mail option. You don't need to purchase each individual digi kit. Just purchase the print and mail option and then send me the list of the 10 digi kits that you want. You can either send it right through Etsy message or you can um, email me the list to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com. And um, if you ever want to get a hold of me fast, um, Pam at thepaperoutpost.com, my email is the best way to do that because I do check that daily. And um, I'm a little slower on Facebook and Instagram stuff. Sorry, I just, I, I do my best to get there. I, I kind of like try and do that weekly if I can, but I'm, I got a little behind, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, also, I sell fundals, which are the collections of old and interesting paper. Um, so there, uh, not this, you get this, not this. Okay. <laughs> and, um, I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, like this amazing little pair of scissors, if your hands get tired, this is a squeeze action, the very, very fine point, super sharp. And you can get into those tiny little spots very easily, very easy on the hands. Um, what else? I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or Everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. I got you covered. If you're looking for a special gift for your friends or your family or a crafter, or a loved one, I, uh, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zipped hoodie, a mug, a tote, a water bottle, and you're off and running. And um, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. If you're looking for the weekly or monthly challenges, click on the guides link at the top and that will give you just the weekly and just the monthly challenges. You can either post um, uh, your contributions to the weekly and monthly challenges. You don't have to post anything there. You can just do it at home and not tell anybody and you can just lurk and that's fine too. Or you can also post your pictures in the main discussion sheet as well. Both are fine. And you can also do old challenges. That's more than welcome. And also uh, remember most of all that fun can be simple. And we create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'm so happy you are here. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.